get that ball out his feet. Now Watson, he uses it well. And on his left-hand side is Albano, who cuts it on his right and finishes. McGarry looking for Albano. Clever touch, Albano, and he can put Alan Webb in. Glove on. Albano. Sending Germano this way and that, and now it's Alan Webb. Webb and Albano, good understanding between these two. Neat little touch inside and a deflected shot. So the combination. <laughs> Long one. Albano thunders after it. Left foot cross, far post goal. This is Santino, the substitute. He's shoved to the ground. Well, I thought he was, but Albano comes away with it. Chance here for Albano. Zafridis. Can he get a good ball in? Doyle's done well. Ball across, and there's the chance for the Knights. Surely this time it's Albano! John Albano! Away come the Knights with possession. And a nice pass. Albano flag stays down. One on one against the keeper. John Albano gives the Melbourne Knights hope. Well, that. Just over half hour here. Is this Sand? Different approach in that final third with his pace and his hunger. Well, a chance here for Albano. Looking to get past two opponents. And Mikulic on the. Quickly to Duzel and then Albano. He's got a lot of white shirts between him and the target, though. But when it comes down to, you know, the last 15, 20 minutes of the game, that's when we'll really feel the absence of Aiden Bryce because when players start getting tired, that's a lovely little shimmy by Albano off the left boot. and we win the free kick. Giselle combining with Albano. Shrugs off a challenge. Looking to put in door jock. Can he show his pace here? Marzi. Got Albano taking on Pavlu. It's another purposeful run for Albano. And, and it's up to Gian Albano to win the match for the Knights from 12 yards against Chris Oldfield. Albano finishes. And that's. Go on and get another one or even two uh, as, as we stand, uh, as the ball goes into the box. It's pulled back and it's. Uh, of course, one player they'd love to keep on that contract is Joe Guest, who. Played that ball into midfield, but Vashini giving it first place is looking very good for uh, one of the oldest clubs that Victoria can boast. The Knights, they're looking quite quick. Alan Webb. If you're a retro or a football a kit fanatic in Melbourne. Now, here come the Knights looking to play through the lines again. Ball for Mick. Feely. Of course, around the ground tonight. The Green Gully. And South Melbourne clash is still goalless. Now that's given away. Albano slips it in towards Mikulic. And the shot takes it. It's empty-handed, but it is increasingly looking that way. Not through a lack of trying from this man right here, Jean Albano. He has taken the game on at every opportunity and does so again. Look at the pace of Samaro just oh. slicing. Of Sting in his step. Adrian Zara. Not so much there, though. Samaro trying to make a better contribution in the attacking third here as it goes through the out wide web and now the shot comes through and it is a second goal to the Melbourne. Uh, early red card to Nikola Jokovic as I did mention before. Another chance here for Melbourne Knights. They've been pressing perhaps an open. Only the one goal. Yeah, and it came from the penalty spot last week. Yeah. Albano must have heard us up here in the commentary because these are the same thing. Transition of pace. So we're spot on with that as we see them try and do it. It's a cheap turn. Take the ball down and a great ball across and a chance here and the first.